Hello Virgo! I want to start off by saying I sincerely apologize for leaving out the earth signs last month. I really love you guys and I just I couldn't get everyone last month. By the time I got around to the earth signs, October was almost over and so, you know, I it was my birthday month so I um, had a lot of social obligations. Um, because I'm very blessed and have people who care about me. But I just didn't get to you, and I wanted to make it up to you this month for November and give all the Earth signs bonus readings. So here is the bonus reading for Virgo. I've already pulled you a an oracle card. And remember, these are a little shorter readings than my traditional ones, but I just I wanted to, um, to give you something. So we have Home Reversed, and we see Upright, um, it's like living in a tree. We have an owl up here, and it looks very cozy. We have a clock, and maybe a fox up here. It looks like, um, it's like living in a redwood, and you walk through this, like, door that is very ornate and beautiful. Um, very, like, craftsman-style door, and... Um, you can go to the upper level, and there are several levels to this house. I'm going to live in this home, this redwood tree. But reversed, I don't know, man, I don't know. When these, um, when the enchanted map cards are reversed, I like to read the whole meaning because for some reason, um, that, like, it ties everything together. So, let's start. Home says, you are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. Home goes on to say, peace, security, safety, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live com comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It is a time for opening your eyes in your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Excuse me, hold on. I forgot to set my timer. Sorry, sorry. Home is love, and love is all around you. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. If you don't feel at home, it's time to do a thorough, and this is reversed. So keep that upright meaning in mind while I read the reversed meaning. For reversed home, it says, if you don't feel at home, it's time to do a thorough and fearless inventory. What are you hiding from? Are you afraid of being yourself? Do you feel that you don't belong where you are? What if you chose another path? Does your understanding of home perhaps dictate that such a place must be unsta unsafe, unstable, or unfulfilling? It's time to love yourself and create a new sense of safety and security within. You might have chosen a situation that is familiar and led you back to the original source of your pain. No matter, no matter, because it is an important and powerful invitation to a new you. Say no to the pain of your past. Say no to the voice of your inner critic. No to those who want to dim your light to make themselves brighter. Choose a new home. Take refuge in knowing that beauty and a true sense of belonging lie ahead really feeling this message um, as a uh, Virgo moon. I have had some home upsets. Whoa! I've had some home, home upsets this year. Had to move out of my home unexpectedly and right now I live in kind of a dump <laughs> and have realized what I need out of a home and anyway I get it Virgo. I get it. And I have realized how important home is to me. Like, the security of coming home to a space that fulfills you. Virgo, Virgo, what are the messages for Virgo and all those who love Virgo? Spirit, 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 please surround us with the one light, loving light of God. Please give us God-given guidance for the highest good of all for Virgo and all those who love Virgo, please. Could you clarify home reverse for Virgo and all those who love Virgo? Spirit, 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 what are the messages for Virgo and all those who love Virgo? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. One more. Please surround us with the warm, white, loving light of God and give us God-given guidance for Virgo and all those who Knight of Chalices. Seven of Swords. 
and the Emperor. Man, this is speaking to me with my Virgo, man. So you might be dealing with an Aries, you might be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, um, and you might be, I think home is a place that you need to feel comfortable um, expressing your art, and if it's not a place where you can be your most expressive, then, you know, perhaps moving or um, renovating or something might be in the works. But um, if you are an artistic person, then this is going to put you in a place where you feel like you're the master of your home. If you... Um, have a family member who is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a loved one who is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, then um, I'm seeing home renovations for some of you. So some of you might be um, like with this artsy thing, some of you might be um, going to like HGTV or watching HGTV, right? And getting like home ideas with your lover. Um, you may also be uh, the father of the household because emperor is the ultimate masculine right here. And it's someone who is very decisive, someone who is very focused and driven and just like king of the castle, right? And because this is talking about home, you want to be king of your castle. So... Let's get some additional information for Virgo and all those who love Virgo, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Please surround us with the warm, white, loving light of God. Please give us God-given guidance for Virgo and all those who love Virgo. Could you give us clarification on the Knight of Chalices, Seven of Swords, and the Emperor, please? One more. One more. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, hmm, hmm, hmm. So you might be feeling like um, your living situation right now is, um, like you might be wanting to you might be feeling like um, you're wasting your money on your living situation, right? Like the your investment isn't you know, if you bought a house, maybe you feel like uh the depreciation or how do I say that? Uh like the lack of value. I don't know. You might feel like it's not a good value or like um, I feel also like perhaps your realtor might have tricked you into um, thinking it was a better deal than it was. And this is a situation that keeps occurring. Hold on. One more. Okay, so I see um, you may be fighting. Um, for some of you, you may have some father issues. You may be fighting with your father. Uh, you may, or your husband. The emperor is, again, the divine masculine. So it's the sexy baby daddy. The, you know, husband of your dreams. Father of your children, family man, um, he provides, he protects, he takes care of his family. If you are the masculine counterpart in your household, if you're the masculine head of your household, you may be feeling like you have to stick up for yourself and there's always fights. If you are dealing with the masculine counterpart in your household, you may feel like you have to defend yourself against this person. This person might feel too controlling. This person might feel like there's always conflicts there. 
You may also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and you may have felt betrayed by this person, backstabbed by this person, but the Ten of Swords is a card of getting hurt so often that you can't get hurt anymore. Like, they don't even phase you anymore. So even though there's a lot of betrayal, it's like, whatever, like, you're not going to affect me anymore. And I think doing art, um, getting into your art is going to help you forget about any backstabbing that occurred. If you're not dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, you could be dealing with a person who has good intentions, but they are very um, quick and um, harsh and intrusive, so they butt in, right? Um, they have a calling, they have a cause in their heart, um, something that is meaningful to them. And it's always good intentions, right? They're just a uh, less mature energy than the queen or king, so they don't know how to wield their... Because the swords are all about communication and thoughts, and they don't know how to wield their communication as well as the queen or the king. So they come charging in. They're a little harsh energy. Um, but... Um, and that might have felt like a backstabbing, like a betrayal, like something painful to you. But working through your art is going to help you process this um, intrusive energy. If you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio, if you're not dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, this is like Knight of Armor, Knight in Shining Armor, Man of Your Dreams, um, very romantic person. Um, who is, you know, super sweet. The shadow end of that is they are a knight who is ruled by their feelings. And again, they're not as mature as the king or the queen. So because they're ruled by their feelings, sometimes their feelings can wash over onto someone else, right? <laughs> um, they could be in love with you one day and then in love with someone else the next day. And that might have thrown you off kilter. That might have um, made you question the your stability in the home you wanted for yourself. So let me know if that makes any sense, Virgo. Uh, 